Alright everybody, this is Kagato, the final boss, and welcome back to Persona 3 FES! Now, a quick update before I really do anything right now. Uh, as some of you are well aware, probably, I hope, I am using the Elgato HD capture device, and they now have a, an update for the program that I'm using, which allows me to actually use the program itself to add commentary, which means that I don't need to do some kind of weird syncing thing with the uh, audacity and the video recording so I'm going to try this and see how well it works so I'm going to do this right now just so you guys know what my plan is I'm gonna save over this file here because if everything goes wrong then I can at least start over which I have to admit this is actually my second time <laughs> because the first time Wow, was my voice way, way louder than the game, so hopefully I've fixed that. So let's see what happens. So let's go on ahead and get started. We're about to go into the tutorial section of the game. And I'm going to speed through this because, quite frankly, it really is just nothing more than a tutorial. I'm going to be skipping through most of it. I'm going to record all of it, but I'm going to skip most of the text and just plow right on through. It's just telling me how to play the game. And uh, just for future reference, I'll probably be not recording too many Tartarus visits because the Tartarus in and of itself is basically just a training ground to raise levels. Bosses... So, this is it, huh? Main bosses are not in the Tartarus, at least not that I'm aware of. Most of them are in their own little places on full moon days. So, I'll get more into that here in a moment. I hope I don't get lost. Can you all hear me? Whoa, is that you, Senpai? I'll be providing audio backup from here on out. <clears throat> Wait, y you mean you can see inside here? It's my persona's ability. I'd like to join you, but the structure of Tartarus changes from day to day. That's why outside support is imperative. As opposed to using that outside support inside. I don't get it. Well, maybe it's... Maybe it's restricted to her bike? I don't know, I'm sure somebody in the comments section is going to correct me on this. Go on ahead, guys! Go on ahead, correct me right down there. <sighs> down below. That makes me feel a whole lot better. Now, based on your current location, you can expect to encounter enemies at any minute. They shouldn't be too tough, but proceed with caution. Practice makes perfect. Right. Got it. Why is she always like that? Why is she always boring? I don't know, but let's find out together! Yeah, I know there's just a bunch of people. There's a whole lot of Mitsuru fans out there, and I'm probably pissing them all off. But you know what? First impressions are a big thing with me. And Mitsuru is just one of those characters that just does not hit well with me. However, I'm sure that'll change once I do her social link. So, at least as of right now, I'm not a fan of hers. <laughs> So again, this is just a tutorial level, so most of the dialogue, I'm just going to skip right on over. Blah, blah, blah. Hit it first. Hitting it first! Hurrah! So what was I saying before? Oh, yeah! Oh, wait. Takeda has informed me about your power, but nevertheless, you have minimal combat experience. Would you like me to explain? No! Okay, then I want you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want me to kill this thing? Attacked the enemy's weak point. Here's our chance for an all out attack. Get that son of a bitch. A complete victory. Great job. Yes, I'm going to be doing skipping. I'm going to be skipping a lot of Tartarus visits unless it has something to do with the main plot, is what I should be saying. If that will allow more clarity. The reason is, is that, for the most part, this place is just a training ground in order to raise levels in order to take down the bosses that appear during a full moon. And those bosses are not here in Tartarus, they're outside. So unless the story specifically says, I have to come to Tartarus, I'm more than likely just not going to record it, because it's just going to be me grinding for levels. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you don't want to see that. However. 
if I'm completely wrong in this and you do want to see me grinding levels in Tartarus, leave a comment below to let me know. Because if so, then I will record them and I'll commentate as best as I can on just fighting these guys. <laughs> um, I guess if you want to see... Um, well, I will record mid-bosses. Like, I believe there's a mid-boss in Tartarus every five floors. I will record those, because those are kind of a big deal, and you know me, I'm a big boss guy. I like bosses. So, I will more than likely be recording those. But as far as just going around, grinding, no. This isn't going to be like Persona 4, where I have to actually go through the dungeon and fight the boss at the end. And there's going to be dialogue between the shadow and everyone else. No, there's nothing like that here, so... I just don't see why I should record it. But again, I could be wrong, so if I am, let me know. Comment below. Mention if you want to see that. And uh, we'll make adjustments we'll make adjustments from there. So let me go ahead and finish these guys off. Yes. The enemy is vulnerable. Here's a chance. Let's get him! Get back here, Dog pile uh, I am Bear pile on the enemy! Keep up the good work. I need a new weapon. I'm not a fan of rapiers. Okay, yeah, we get to choose our reward here. The um, Persona card is obviously a new Persona. The uh, green leaf is a boost in experience points, and the red item sword thing gives me a new weapon. Let's see. Since getting Pixie here is going to be extremely easy, I'd rather get a new weapon. Oh, I get another rapier. Oh, goody. I wanted a katana or something. A big weapon. I'm not a rapier guy. I'm a big two-handed weapon guy. Makes me want to hit things hard. Makes me feel manly. Yeah, yeah, I'm feeling okay. Yeah, have, have your car heal if you need to. Yada, yada, yada. I know this! I'm sure a lot of you already know this. This is the all-out attack. No thanks. You can also sometimes run away, but this is one that you can't. Blah, blah, blah. Let's go ahead and go through this. One. Two. Three. You struck the enemy's weak point. Four! Four wicked shadows! Ah, 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 ah. Kill them all! Get them for the fucking And we win. We're awesome. Yep. We saved the day. Shovel time! Hey! Oh, I'm gonna get that other persona that's really rare. At least on these floors. I'm gonna get Pixie some other time. Apsaurus! Yeah, I got up, yes! My skill level has increased. That's odd. Usually there are more shadows on the prowl. Well, at least you gained some experience in battle. Let's go back to the dorm for today. There should be an access point somewhere on that floor. You can use it to return to the entrance. Since there aren't any enemies to worry about, why don't you split up and search individually? Just tell the other party members what you'd like them to do. Yes, this is one of my favorite features in this. You can split up and have everybody basically go and hunt on their own. They can even fight enemies on their own if they're strong enough. However, if one of them falls, then you're going to regret it. And of course, I go the one way that's blocked. I found the access point. What do you want to do? Yeah, let's go back. Okay, then. Let's go. And so we spent 10 minutes on the tutorial. Oh, goody. <laughs> Welcome back. So, how was it? No problem. I don't know about this. I'm excited. Ah, no problem. They were all easy. I see. Well, if you gained confidence, that's the best thing you could have achieved. Wow. I never knew I had that kind of power. You mean the power to dogpile on the enemy when I said that it was okay to do so? We kicked some ass. I kicked the ass. You just kind of hopped in. But damn, I'm beat. You didn't do anything! That's because you were bouncing around like a little kid. 
Never mind, that does kind of reflect what he's probably been doing. Yeah, you look pretty tired yourself, Yucatan. I'm still trying to catch my breath, actually. That's the effect of the dark hour. You'll become fatigued more easily. Don't worry, though. You'll adapt. But why? Is that explained? Explain, game! I'm surprised. You all did much better than I expected. And I'm sure there's somebody in the comments that's just like, be like down there saying, well, it's all because of this, 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 and this. <laughs> At this rate, they'll catch up to you in no time, Akihiko. It's like every question I ask, somebody is down there correcting me, which is fine. <laughs> we'll see about that. It's fine, but sometimes I mean things as a joke. <laughs> Like, now is one of those times. I don't really need an explanation. I just need to know that, okay, the dark hour causes fatigue. So you don't really need to explain why. And the Fool Arcana has risen a rank. Let's see. This main character was the Fool... Persona 4's main character was the fool. I wonder if all the other Persona characters, and uh, or at least the main characters in Persona 1 and 2, were also the fools. Anyway, what am I doing? Oh, yes! Going to save, going to save, yeah. We're finished here. Save successful, let's get on out of here. The dark hour will soon be over. Would you like to return to the dorm? Return to the dorm. You decide to stop exploring and return to the dorm. Returning to the dorm, returning to the dorm. Dorm return, return dorm. Tuesday the 21st. Hey. You're Kagato, right? Uh, who are you, Mr. Squarejaw? Man, I knew it. I heard from Junpei that you're pretty close with Yukari-san. What's up with that? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I'm looking for someone with a little more experience, anyway. By the way, I'm Kenji Tomochika. Wow, I actually pronounced that pretty quickly. Holy crap. There's a morning assembly, so we'd better hurry. And did I even pronounce it right? I don't know anymore. Japanese names. I'm gonna just call him Square Jaw Tamagotchi. That concludes the main portion of today's assembly. Next, we'll hear a word from the student council. Please welcome the new president, Mitsuru Kirijo, from Class 3D. Class 3D? Dude, I wanna be in that class! Thank you. Then again, I can only imagine all the jokes that they get. So, she did get elected. Well, I guess she is the most popular girl in school. Yukari, I thought that was you. I guess you're second place then. You can say that again. There's like some kind of aura around her. Besides, this school's owned by the Kirijo group, right? Oh, and there we have it. She probably bought her way in. Ha ha! Yeah. I try not to think about that. As I begin my term as student council president, I'd like to share with you my vision for this coming year. And I'd like to share with you that I'm reaching for my pillow because I have a feeling that this isn't going to be very interesting. It is my firm belief that each of us must accept the responsibility of bettering our school. However, change cannot occur without sustained effort and an unprecedented level of commitment. <sighs> that is why we must restructure our daily lives to accommodate this lofty goal. I'd like each of you to dig deeply into your well of motivation and reevaluate your convictions. To imagine a bold new future without losing sight of the realities around you. That is the key. I'm certain that many of you have your own visions of the future. For us to reap the full benefits of our education, your participation, ideas, and enthusiasm are essential. Thank you. Dang, the 
That was freaking amazing. So, do you have any idea what you just said? <laughs> Wait, what? What? Where am I? Wait. Listen to what? I wasn't listening. Dude, you're such a rebel. No, I'm just tired. Tired. Seriously, no if Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and say this. I really seriously have no offense towards Mitsuru as a character. The reason I keep saying, oh, she's boring, she's boring, she's boring, is simply because of the fact that her first impression is boring to me. I'm sure she's gonna become probably so much more interesting when I get her social link finished. We'll see, but first impressions with me are a big deal. Anyway, I don't want to keep on going on that one. So anybody that thinks I hate Mitsuru, that is not true. That is not true. Okay. All right. Today we'll be going over the Meiji era literature. Open your textbooks to page 12. You know what? I'm tired of these textbooks. I just went over this novel in the last class. I've got a great poem we can cover instead. Close your textbooks, everyone, and listen. Isolated cloud suspended over the tall, snowy mountain peak. You feel tired. Mitsuru's speech is still getting to you. But you have to stay awake in order to get academics. Alright, Kenji. You'd better not be sleeping back there. You should be ashamed of yourself taking a nap while I pour my heart out into reading this poem. Yeah, Kenji. Pay attention to the hot teacher. For that, you get another essay along with your regular assignment tonight. I'll expect to slice a cake when you turn it in too. And don't cheap out with the store-bought stuff like last time. Uh, what? This has happened? And she could do that? Dude! I want to be a teacher. Teacher Kagato demands more cake! You stayed up and listened to the lecture. Your academics has increased. And now you have a craving for cake. Class is ended for today. As of today, you'll be able to use your time after school as you wish. If you have established social links, you may wish to spend time with those individuals. Also, there are many places you can go to in the area to raise your charm, courage, and academics. Be sure to look around in town as well as in the school. Unfortunately, since I haven't really opened up any social links other than the ones uh, in regards to C's, there's nothing I can really do here except look around and talk to some NPCs for no real reason, so I'm going to go ahead and move the story along. Don't worry, we'll all eventually get to see the school at one point or another when more clubs open up and more social links open up. I just realized something. I didn't go take a piss! So before I move on, let's go take a piss. Whoa, I almost made a mistake. The women's restroom? There we go. It's the men's room. Let's see if I can raise my condition to great. You relieved yourself. Your condition has become great. Yeah! I feel great. Na 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 na. Alright, moving on now. Hey, ladies, how you doing? It's Akihiko-senpai! Uh. Where? Oh, there he is! <sighs> hey! My thoughts exactly, Akihiko! Have you noticed how popular Akihiko-san is with the ladies? Man, take a look at that! It's the bandage, man. Chicks love the bandage. I didn't used to talk to him much, but now I've got a good excuse. Junpei, I'm... Pretty upset that you needed to find an excuse just to talk to somebody. Work on your social skills, man! Work on them! I know, he's the captain of the boxing team, but who would have thought he'd be such a chick magnet? Oh, just wait until you see how he looks in Persona 4 Arena. He pretty much has no shirt for the entire duration of the game. And a goatee. I mean, come on. You don't even see girls flock like that on TV. 
I wonder where they're going. Hey, are you guys free this afternoon? Akihiko, surrounded by women, ask the guys if they're available in the afternoon. Hell yeah! What you got in mind? And Junpei looks excited and has a heart over his head. Oh dear god, I'm surrounded by gay people. I want the two of you to meet me at Polonia Mall. Not that there's anything wrong with that, just saying. You know where it is, right? I'll be at the police station. I think I'm gonna leave that joke alone. See you there. The... the police station? You mean we're not hanging out with your friends? Who, these girls? I don't even know their names. They talk so much they give me a headache. Dude, Akihiko, come on! They're all standing right next to you! They all heard that! Anyway, I'm gonna head out. Don't keep me waiting. That's... I mean, there's some people that I dislike, but I wouldn't say to their faces, because... Oh. Exactly! But that's what makes him so cool. <sighs> Ladies, come on! I'm nice! You, you can hang out with me! Uh, ladies! Man, how can he not know their names? I mean, seriously, just look at them! Single? Nice guy? Ladies? Oh. Ah, well, let's go. <laughs> Lonely, Mr. Lonely, I've got nobody of my own. <laughs> okay, let's go to the mall, hang out with Akihiko. At the police station. This sounds weird on paper. This sounds really weird. This seems to be a police station. Sure, why not? Why the hell not? Thank you, sir. Oh, these are the guys I was talking about earlier. Well. Don't you look like the friendly sort? I was waiting for you guys. This is Officer Kurosawa. He helps keep our squad well equipped. Wait, what? And this is from Ikutsuki san. Wait, 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 wait. You know what? No, not gonna question it. Really? Sweet! You and Junpei each received 5,000 yen, which is equivalent to about 50 US dollars. Not bad. You can't fight empty handed, so find something you like. Officer Kurosawa has connections. But these things still cost money. Of course they do. Nothing in life is free. I realize that. Well, I'll see you later. Thanks. Oop, I'm sorry, I kind of cut that off, but that's okay. I've been informed about you too. My job is to maintain peace in this city, regardless of the circumstances. I'm just an ordinary police officer, but it doesn't take a genius to know something strange is going on here. I'm only doing what I think is right. You know what? No, I take it back. I am going to question this. You think that there's something strange going on here, so instead of consulting your fellow police officers, you instead sell weapons and armor to middle- No, I'm sorry. High school kids in hopes that they will save the day for you. Okie dokie. Go ahead and equip this. And equip this. Yeah, I'm not gonna have enough for a new weapons, so that's okay. I'll just sell all this piece of junk here. Oh, that's right, I did get a second rapier, didn't I? Whoa, I don't want to sell my Sierra Mist. I like my Sierra Mist. Even if it is an off-brand named Cielo Mist. It tastes like watered-down Sprite. But I love it, goddammit! Psh! Only 5,000 yen? I'm gonna take off, since I'm in a bad mood now. Later. Dude, Junpei, you were just given 
the equivalent of 50 bucks. What do you mean? Just a second ago, you were like, oh, sweet, I got 5,000 yen. Now all of a sudden, you're like, only 5,000 yen. Man, this freaking sucks. Come on. That was a free handout, dude. All right. So since you guys want me to do 100% run, I'm going to be following this day-by-day -day guide in order to know who to talk to and what to do in order to raise my stats from zero to full and to raise all the social links from zero to max. So according to this thing, I'm supposed to go to Port Island Station and go see a movie to raise my courage. Yeah! The reason that I have to raise these stats as soon as I can is because the higher some of these stats are, the more uh, social links can get unlocked sooner. A movie marathon is playing. For those of you who want to be more courageous, three heroic tales are being shown. A student ticket is 1,500 yen. Hmm. It's the Die Hard Trilogy. I know it is. Time to be a man and see Die Hard. You've been inspired to become more courageous. Your courage has increased. It's getting late. You decide to go back to the dorm. yippee ki -yay, motherfucker. Welcome back. Perfect timing. I'd like to speak to you for a moment. Regarding our exploration of Tartarus, Akihiko is still on the men, so for now, I'd like you to lead the team. You never know when a powerful enemy might appear, like the one you faced the other day. And it's best to be prepared, or else you may find yourself in a difficult situation. So, whenever you'd like to explore Tartarus, just let me know, and I'll gather everyone there. Also, since I'm sure there are other things you will need to take care of, you may go out at night if you need to. Well, that's it. Keep up the good work. Oh, I I'm glad I needed her permission in order to go out at night. Great. So, uh, let me see if this is about a part. Yeah, it's a part. So, um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off here, and then I'm going to go to the Tartarus and grind for a little bit. And then I'll be back, and uh, more hijinks will, con will continue. So, let me go ahead and save. And I also should probably check the quality of this video to make sure that it's up to standards. Because I don't want to upload something that's crap. And if so, then I can upload this right away without having to take it into an editing software. Because there's really nothing I'd want to add. So, um, alright. This is Copy to the Final Boss. I'll see you guys in Part 4. Wait, this was Part 4. I'll see you in Part 5. Oh god, I'm already getting mixed up. Bye guys.